Hello guys, it's Monday with another week of Global Lab changes for DOSA. This week is another massive update to the class as well as a bunch of changes to the overall game. You're here for DOSA buffs and that's exactly what we're going to show. Let's get into it. You parry has been changed with stamina consumption. If you successfully parry, you'll use 250 stamina now, but if you fail a parry and miss, you lose no stamina. One of the core problems with DOSA was the fact that everything will lock your stamina. This update comes with multiple stamina buffs as expected. Stamina consumed whilst using Winter Squall, Spring Frost, Autumn Blitz and Taeguk abilities during moving attacks has been reduced from 250 to 100. Also, stamina is continuously restored during these attack animations. The stamina cost for using Cloud Drift, which is the flow of our dash ability, has also been reduced from 250 to 150. Shift E, Autumn Blitz range has been increased. This is a big change as it will provide more opportunities in landing wide AoE knockdowns in group fights. Shift L and B, Spring Frost attack range has also been increased. Both of these range increases are huge buffs overall. Rebams have finally been added for Dosa. Rebam number 1, which is Shift plus X, is a stiffness and knockdown CC ability with no protection. The second option is a forward guard trade ability with no CC. Animation looks very slow on this one, so I'm not sure if I'll be using it. Rabam number 2, which is Shift plus C, is an SA trade ability with no CC. Bossa was in need of additional protected damage for trading, and I think this is probably the best Rabam out of all choices given to us. The second option is an iframe SA teleport backwards. I personally think I'll be choosing the extra trade damage over this additional teleport. Lastly, our third rebound is related to our parry ability. First option basically adds the damage from airy piercer into our parry and does not allow us to use airy piercer anymore. Second option for a parry or bomb moves our parry knockback CC to airy piercer upon successful blocks. It adds more range, allowing for a bigger chance to CC multiple players. Overall, another crazy good update to Dosa Succession. I 100% will continue playing ranked AOS with him once we get the update, as his survivability will be stronger with all of these stamina changes and new rebombs. I don't think his rebombs are anything special in particular, but having even one new skill that does SA trading is already big for me. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.